sandwich for you. And the recording comes on. Okay, we'll give the people like five more minutes, three or four more minutes. Allie, where are you located? Um, so I am currently actually moved to Virginia uh, last week. Um, I had been based up in New Jersey up until a week ago. Um, but my job, we worked in person a week I, and then we went back to being remote. So I will be back and forth uh, between New Jersey and Virginia over the next couple of months. Yeah, that's where, my where are you in Virginia? They, uh, I'm in... Uh, in Arlington, uh, ah, right outside I, of DC. Well, so. I grew up in Falls Church. Oh yeah, yeah. We we uh, you, a long time ago we used to live in Fairfax. So. And we have we have Jimmy Montana here. Jimmy, where are you located? This is my Zoom name. It's Nick. Um, I'm in New York. I'm in I'm in your borough, actually. Oh Nick, I know you, right? Yeah. Oh, For, you're a Nick. Nick we Lee. met at um, Village Playwrights. Yeah, your 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 father's a lawyer or your mother's a lawyer or something. Yeah, both yeah. lawyers. That. And Barbara, hello Barbara, how are you? Hi, hi Johnny, how are you? Um, good. Great. I am um, in Washington Heights in Manhattan. Right. On 181st right. Street. Yeah. Okay. And Leonard, you are somewhere in the woods, right? Yes, in the woods, absolutely. <laughs> the state of Washington, anyway. Oh, the state of Washington. And hi Ruth, where are you? Hi, I'm currently in Ohio because my brother's getting married in two weeks, but I'm from Queens, New York. Okay, so. what town in Ohio are you in right now? Uh, Portsmouth, Ohio. So like oh. Southern Ohio, where the tri-state, where West Virginia, Kentucky, and Ohio meet. Yeah, so. my sister lives in a town called New Philadelphia. It's in Tuscaloosa <laughs> County. Yeah. And Ray, Ray, where where is Ray? Hi, can you hear me? I'm here. Um, I'm really from well. Brooklyn, New York. Okay, great. And 646, we know who you are. And we got 15 people on. And I recognize everyone on screen one. I recognize everyone on screen two. So let's get started. And since I'm recording this, those people who cannot be here, they can listen to the recording later. So everybody, welcome to yes, uh, welcome to the Fifth Avenue Theater Fall Show production. Uh, we've had we've done play festivals many times in the past, and this is the first time where we've had a production meeting where we get everybody on the same page about what's going on. Um, we have we have two performance dates. The first date, as you saw in the invite, is uh, October 16th at 12 p.m. The second date is October 23rd at 12 p.m. Um, I'm 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 going to talk now about option uh, about what we want to do is actually do live performances, and and the performance on the 16th is scheduled to take place in a public atrium on the corner of. 54th Street and 2nd Avenue. It's 300 East 54th Street. And um, they, it's, it's, it's a nice open area, and, and, there, and there are platforms and steps and a little performance area, and, and it's, it's free and open to the public. And I spoke to the building management, and because it's something called a privately owned public space, a POPS, it's, it's really considered to be a public venue that everyone can use. So, so that is the space on October 16th at 12 p.m. The second performance date is October 23rd at either 11 a.m. or 12 p.m. I, I haven't decided yet. At 650 Fifth Avenue, it's on the corner of 52nd Street and Fifth Avenue. It's a it, it it is a public atrium, but it's indoors. If you go to the corner of 52nd and Fifth, um, behind the Nike store, I think it's the Nike store. Behind the Nike store, there's an escalator going down, and you go through these double doors. And, and, and there's this big open space there that seats about 40, 45 people. And, and we've used it for performances in the past and, and, and it's worked out really well. So, so that's the second space. In, in the email that I sent you all, I've kind of, I've kind of put together what plays are, are gonna go on what weekends. Like, like um, 10 plays are gonna go on, on the 16th and 10 plays are gonna go on the 23rd. Um, if you want to change your performance date, it's up to you to coordinate it with other playwrights. So, so for example, if, if for example, if, 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 um, if, if, if Steve Gold wants to move his play from the 16th to the 23rd, he's got to contact someone who has their play scheduled on the 23rd and, and, and alternate with them. Okay. okay. Um, as, 
as far as rehearsal space and rehearsal times, it's totally up to you. All, all we want you to do is, is come to the performance prepared with your actors or your monologue, Sandra. And and it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be memorized. You don't need sets. You don't need costumes. This is all about the script and the dialogue and the words that you put together. So so that that'll make things extra easy. Um, we're not going to have programs because if we have programs, people are going to drop them on the floor in public space and they'll be littering. And I don't want to do that. So what's going to happen is on on October 23rd, when when it's time for Kevin Miller's play to go, I'll, I'll say Kevin. I'll basically I'll say hi, Kevin. It's your turn now. And Kevin has 10 minutes to introduce his actors and, and to tell the audience whatever he needs to, to tell them. And, and then at the next, when he's done, I'll say, okay, Chris White, it's your turn. It's, it's the stage is yours, and and that's and that's how we'll go through things. Does anybody have any questions so far? So, so there, this is Steve, maybe Blue. So there won't be any necessarily dress. It's just going to be rehearse it on your own and come as, as uh, everyone will shape up at 12 because because the order, will the order be in as you uh, emailed us? I will decide the order on the day of the show because what always happens is people back out for the most ridiculous. Uh -huh. I, I mean, when they have an excuse, it's so obviously a fake excuse. And I can see right through it. So I'm just like, okay, you're on my shit list now. I, I don't want to deal with you anymore. Okay, so, can so, I make a suggestion for that? Sure. If everyone shapes up, because I've been through a few of these, and you're right, please do drop out. If everyone shapes up at the time, let's say maybe 11 or 12, and you everyone goes in order, and you let everyone know that be be on standby in case someone in case in case someone craps out, in case someone drops out. So th at least this way you'll have some type. Oh, of, of course, of course we'll do that. Yeah, of course. What I will do before the uh, performance starts, I'll stand up and say, "Hi, everybody. This is the order of the place tonight." The, Okay. Plays this afternoon, and they'll list all the plays this afternoon, and then we'll and then we'll just start. Okay, great. Uh, Johnny, I have a question. Um, Who's that, Dave? Uh, Dave, uh, John. Dave no, Gold first. Okay. Yeah, John. Uh, when you said when? you give us ten minutes, you give us ten minutes, and we explain what my play's about. Then do we go right into our play then, or do we uh, then you everyone goes through their ten minutes? What did you mean by that? I meant that. Um, uh, if, 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 Dave's, if Dave Gold plays first, I'll say, okay, here's, here's playwright Dave Gold and his play, blah, 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 and you do your piece and you're done, and then we go on to the next playwright. Okay. All right, so yeah, you said something about explaining something to the audience or something? Uh, or you you'll, have that, you'll have that time to say, okay, I'm Dave Gold, I'm a playwright, and, and, and these are my actors, and the play is set in a toilet bowl, and um, it's the table man, and here's the play. Okay, and then we perform it right then and there, right? right. Exactly. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, okay. And someone else had a question? Yeah, it's yeah. Barbara. Can you tell me, please, again, the address of where it's going to happen on the 16th? Okay, it, it is in the calendar invite that I just sent you this afternoon, okay. but, okay. but it, it's, it's 300 East 54th Street. Okay. I'm sure you've walked past it a million times. Thank you. Uh, any more have any questions? Anybody else? Uh, my, question, my question is, I guess we're going to, it's, it's a performance size space. I mean, I have a two, two character play. They're probably I, aren't even going to move, but I'm assuming we have just a, a reasonable amount of space and, you know, the, the audience is so many feet from them. We oh, yeah. Have, oh, yeah. So yeah. I'm, just, I'm just trying to picture it uh, just in, in, in broad strokes that it's, uh, you know, a decent enough size space that they can stand four feet from each other if they need to. Oh, totally. Look at the photographs I sent you links to, oh, okay. and, and it will be self-explanatory. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't do that. Nick, you had a question. Yeah, um, so you're saying that uh, each playwright and their play is going to be having one performance date or two? One. Okay, and but there might be possible performance dates after the 23rd. I don't know. <laughs> if, if, if it all depends. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Okay, Johnny, can I ask there you a question? Chris. Yeah, so this is essentially a stage reading. We're not doing any props or anything like that. If you need a prop, I mean, if, if you need a cell phone, you can have a cell phone, but don't bring in a couch and a toaster and a refrigerator and all that stuff. <laughs> no, no, no. My, mine is a, is a scene in a, in a courtroom, but I just want to get a sense of what it is. But, you know, so it's essentially, it's just, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's essentially a stage reading is what we're doing. Right, right correct? Right. Because you, you have to bring the things with you and take them out with you when you're done. I understand. So, I understand. So let's keep it as easy as possible. But we can, Anybody our else? actors, they can memorize it. My actors are going to perform. Is that okay? That's fine. Yeah, fine. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. We can be off book. Yeah. If if, if you want, book. yeah. But don't Good. but don't but don't gloat about it. Don't <laughs> say, ha, we're off book and you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's okay. the limit on props and and like it's make it as easy as possible. Okay. As few as few as possible. Okay. Uh, can you can you give me a can you give us a sense of what's gonna what will be there? Will there be there'll be chairs, there'll be stools, there'll be what? If we don't bring any, if I just show up with my actors, what do I have to work with? You have to work with. I suggest you look at the photographs of the sites I sent you, of the locations, and, and that's self explain That'll explain everything. Okay. See what happens. What? Uh, Johnny, you wanna... sit on the. Dave. Johnny, you sit on the twenty third. It's either eleven or twelve. You you finalize that as we get closer. Oh yeah, yeah. We have we have months. I haven't decided yet. Thank you. Johnny, you uh, sent out an email of, of the layout and everything? I sent out an email with a link to a, to a link to a description of the location. Okay. I just I need to get it's in, the, it's in the calendar invite that I just sent. I sent out several this afternoon. That's right. At five thirty. Right. No, Eastern time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other questions about the performance date and time? Yes. What is the name of the festival exactly? It's the it's the Fifth Avenue Theater Fall Show, Fall Festival. Sounds impressive. Or Fat F, <laughs> Fat Fall. <laughs> it's an acronym, Fifth Avenue Theater, Fat Fall. Fat Fall Show. I think I'll use that in the future. Okay, so 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 that's everything about the uh, in-person performance. There, there there may be a chance. There may be a situation where we can't do a live performance and all of that. So we, we, we'll have to think of a plan B if that happens. And, and, and if there is a plan B, it's going to be a virtual show. It's not going to be where you submit your YouTube video and people can watch it whenever they want. I'd rather do a show with, with, with all your actors and all your playwrights coming into a Zoom meeting or a Zoom webinar and one by one, very similar to the live thing we're doing, I just announced, okay, here's Cassandra, she's doing her piece, and she, when she's done, Dave does his, and Hal does his, and blah, 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 like that. And, and you're able to invite as many people from all around. Your actors can be from anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world. Your audience can be anywhere. It's free admission. It's much easier to deal with than, um, than a live performance, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what we have to do. So, and, and also, on, in, in the live performance, if we go that way, everyone has to be vaccinated. Audience members, actors, directors, usherettes, you bring them in, you know. That ghost light you bring in to, have, to stand there, that has to be vaccinated too. So, any questions so far? Um, if we, if, oh. Al, you go ahead. Go ahead. Um, if we do live, um, will the audience have to be masked the whole time as well too, in addition to being vaccinated? Yeah. Uh, it's a public space, they're public spaces, but you may strongly encourage them to be masked. You know, I'm sure there'll be some um, of those people who, who believe we're infringing on their rights, but you know, we have to do the right thing for everybody. So um, what else? I, I have nothing else to cover. Does anyone have any questions or anything? Yeah, it's Barbara again, Johnny. Um, hold on, Barbara, hold on, hold on. I have to go sure. to your screen, the picture. Okay. Sure. Yeah, in terms of whether it's going to be live or on Zoom, do you have any idea when we would know that? Because it would affect our casting. Uh, I would say, well, when have have any of you started working on this yet? I have. Yes, yes. you have. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Would would it really screw up if if you had actors, and then we had to switch to Zoom because of the pandemic? No, no, no. But so are you leaning? Are you? Yeah. You're leaning toward live, yes. I'm leaning toward live, but I'm also take a, a planning for virtual. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it sounds like if we cast local actors who who know that they would either do it live or yes. go on Zoom. Okay. Well, though, yeah, yeah, they'll in, in, instead of coming down to the performance space they'll do it oh well, that's another thing if we do do it virtual it will not be on that date and time it will not be saturday on the 16th or 23rd at noon oh. it'll be in the it'll be in an evening somewhere i see 
later on in October. Do we actually okay. have a choice of whether to do it virtually or live? No, I will be deciding. I will be deciding by give me. I will be de de be deciding by the end of September. Okay. All right. And I will let you all know. And, and I can't. Right. I can't imagine having to switch from from live to virtual is really going to screw up your rehearsal process or your performance because it's actually to your benefit to be doing it virtually because your actors are just me will, will be on the camera with the script right in front of them and it's going to be much easier for them to work right can we push for live though like oh no yeah i'm pushing live too yeah uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm 62 years old i want to do live stuff okay. Only Just got a couple more sure, decades man, around here. Because, you know, yeah, I want to do theater, baby. Yeah, yeah it's theater, I, baby. I, I, I forgot what it was, and I just spilled water all over me. Yeah, my vote is live as well. I hope yeah. it's live. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I, I'm here. Hold on. Where did Johnny go? I just spilled water all over me. I didn't want you to see my, my <laughs> nipples or my, my, my shirt. <laughs> so it feels like most of us are hoping for live. Oh yeah, so am I. So am yes. I. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping there too. Yes. Okay, so I've covered everything. I've covered the. I've covered the two in-person dates. I've covered the possibility of virtual. I've covered. Uh, it's 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 free admission. There are no tickets. It can be as many people as you want. Um, it, it's mostly up to you to advertise and promote this. I will be promoting on the Equity Library Theater website. And if you haven't been to that website, there are a lot of things going on. We have a lot of things going on there, so feel free to look at it. And um. Did you send that website in your emails? It's equitylibrarytheater.info. Okay. Are you going to have posters for us? No. No? No. Where would you put them anyway? Oh, a flyer? Well, throughout the flyer? neighborhood. Uh, how, how do you mean? Like, you know, the old fashioned, like pinning it on a pole or something. And I'm old fashioned. You know. Yeah, uh, that, that's kind of I, I don't know, that's kind of a weird thing these days. I hate seeing things posted on telephone poles. Like people have yeah. a garage sale, and six months later, their sign is still on the on, on the pole for the garage sale. I just really, <laughs> <laughs> I just really hate that's my pet peeve. I just rip them down, rip them on down. Uh -huh. um, Stephanie, do you have a question? No. Um. Yes. I I, I I defer. Go ahead. Okay. Will will there be a Facebook event or just the website? Um, could I ask someone to help me putting a Facebook event page together? I'm not too good at that. I still yeah. have a rotary telephone. I can I can I can I can help with that. I can put. A okay, Facebook great. Page okay. Together. Yeah. Yeah, that would Facebook event would be great. Yeah. Okay. Once once you decide, once you all decide, I mean, this, this is this is not just me putting this together. It's all of us putting it together. So A, you have, to, you, have, you have to choose what days you want and what day you want to perform. And if you don't like that day, you have to switch with someone else. That's up to you guys. So um, early in October, I'll, I'll get back to all of you and, and, and I'll find out. Or you'll be contacting me and saying, Chris switched with Leonard, Leonard switched with um, Nick, but that kind of thing. So I know what's going on. I have a, I have a question. Yeah. Um, on, my, on the email that you sent out with my name, it has like question marks. You, right. So I, I didn't know the name. I'm fixing it right. What is the name of your piece? I'm fixing it right now. Yeah, it's a uh, Sunny's Vacation Home. Sunny, like apostrophe S. Yes. Vacation. Okay, it's fixed. Okay, okay. Johnny? Johnny. Yes. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, somebody. Huh? Johnny, uh, my mine is not a plural; it's singular. Daughter. Hold on. Hold on. Daughter, it's singular. Okay. Singular daughter, not daughters. Okay. Got it. One daughter, one adopted daughter. Got it. Real daughter. Real. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this is Steve. It's it's Johnny. It's baby blue. Singular also. Okay, hold on. And also, if we do do this in person, which I'm 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 hoping to crap, we will. Uh, Bring, bring water, bring snacks, and make it a fun event for you and the other people with you. We'll have a good time. Okay, that's fixed. And any other questions? Any other, any other thoughts or concerns? Yeah. So there's, a, there's no wait, 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 Chris. 
John, just a question I have for you is, why are you doing this? What's the driver for you? Just curious. Because I want to. Because I like okay. doing it. <laughs> All right. That's it. That's it. Why I don't do get like paid. No one pays me. I don't pay anybody. It's just because it needs to be done, and I decide to do it. You're All the right. man. And then, and then right. the one I've, been doing this, is, I've been doing this for quite a long time, too. Cool. So what time, the will the car ser what, what time will the car service start picking us up? Uh, the, uh, we'll, have, um, we'll have Uber coming to your homes about, about an hour before the performance, and you can tell the driver to drive as fast as he wants. <laughs> Sounds fantastic. All right. I got Johnny, a question. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to it. I'm question. Forward okay, here's a question. That's Nick. Um, yes, go ahead. Something about the possibility of having a recorded live performance and or a live stream performance with vaccinated actors afterward after we do this after the live show like during the live show how would how would we record it that's up to you i mean if, if, if you want to bring a camcorder or something or whatever you use to record your piece go ahead and do it okay yeah that's, uh, that's, that's, that's all i can say uh, johnny stephanie? hold on hold on stephanie yeah, Stephania, I'm uh, directing the play, and I asked him to ask you that because I was wondering if we can have a situation where the actors go to the theater, they make the performance, it's recorded, and we stream that performance on people's uh, electronic devices where they could go and be virtual in, in case of uh, it has to be a virtual performance. Like maybe that would be more... A like theater like instead of like having the actors be uh via zoom or, or perform separately it was just like well, a suggestion that i'd like to throw out in the air okay i didn't quite understand that so uh i i was tossing around the idea of having the performers on the stage of the theater and uh having a camera record them while they do the performance live and we stream that live performance into people's device in the event that you decide we could go with a virtual performance. You can do that, sure, but it's up to you to record your own piece. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. It would be up to each of us, I guess. But uh, I, I had misunderstood your idea, maybe, because you said that the actors would be remotely playing. That's why, that's why this idea came up. It's like, it was a suggestion where if the actors are vaccinated, maybe they can like be on the stage together and, um, and um, make a performance and, and that can be the, the order of the show or, or whatever. Like I'm just- Oh, giving if, we have, if we have to do a virtual presentation, you're free to have all your actors in one place and, oh, and, okay. and, and do it together. You don't have to have, after A in oh, one box, that could be in a second box. Okay, after C beautiful. Box. Thank you for that clarification. Okay, okay, that would be very. Thank you for that. Okay. okay. So one, one, last question. Question. one last question. Okay. Are, are either of the venues weather conditional? These are not weather related. Okay. The the first venue at 300 East 54th Street is outdoors. It's outside. You're in the elements, but there are a lot of trees covering it. But still, the rains are going to get wet. The, the second venue on, on East West on. Fifth Avenue, Fifty Second Street is one hundred percent indoors. So that is that. That's a factor in whether we do it on the sixteenth. What I would do, what I'm going to do, shit. What I'm going to do is, if I, if like, if like a week before, well, this is another option. If if I, if we decide a week before that it's going to be bad weather on the sixteenth, we'll move the show to the same location as the twenty third. Oh, okay. Thank you. Maybe we will. Well, hold, hold on. Hold on. That's a good idea. Why don't we? Why don't I do that? Why don't we do both shows in the same place, inside? Does that make That's, more sense? That that makes me more confident. That makes me more comfortable too. And then you you people aren't going to be trying to rearrange your your, your spaces because I want to be inside. I want to be outside. Okay. I so hope. we just decided. We just decided that both locations, both performances will take place on Fifth Avenue and Fifty Second Street in the indoor atrium. Great. Good. See, look, look what happened. We all work together, and uh, we can we can enter the space to check it out before the. Before oh yeah, yeah. It's open from eight. It's open from seven a.m. to eleven p.m. to eight p.m. at night. You go to seven days a week. And that's the the Fifth Avenue, six fifty Fifth Avenue. That's six fifty Fifth Avenue. Yeah. So we're changing this to we're changing October sixteenth. 
the 655th Adams. This is great. I like this so much better. Great. Um, there are only, in that space at 655th Avenue, there are only about 40, 45 chairs. So if, if your audience gets there late, um, they may not have a seat. Uh, if your actors are there, I'm going to ask them to stand in the back to give the audience a, a chance to sit down in the seats. And there will also be probably be people there who are not there for a play festival. They're just there to eat their, eat, eat their tuna sandwich during lunch and read the paper. So um, we just have to be mindful of other people sitting in the corner of the space and not be really obnoxious and irritating and have them call the police or anything. Right. Okay. So that's good. Okay, we're set then. Any other questions? We're good. Would you mind just emailing that what we what you confirmed to us so we have it? Like exactly. I'm doing it. I'm I'm doing it right now. Cool. I I I'm 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 emailing you the fact that both locations are taking place. Both performances are taking place at 655th Avenue at 11 a.m. And I'm and in that e email is also a list of all the pieces that are on each week each each week. And if you want to change, if you want to switch with anyone, it's up to you guys to change and switch. And I also have the emails of all the other playwrights for you. And um, there's also a photo, there's also a link to the photograph of the space at 655th Avenue. Right. Okay, we're good. So, Johnny, Johnny yeah, right. once again, Johnny, uh, it's in the order that you got listed and when we perform. So you're getting more clear. Johnny, is it in the uh, order that you listed and when we go up on stage? No, no. the The order will be the order will be decided the day of the performance. Okay. 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 Oh, there are sirens outside. Okay, so we are good. No more questions, I guess. Thank you. Okay, and if you do have any questions, just just write to me, and I will try and get back to you with the best answer I can figure out. Thank you, Johnny. Okay, Thank so we'll see you all soon. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Stop recording. Thank you, folks. Stop recording. Have a good evening. Okay, bye guys. Bye guys.